Now that we have a nice clean and transformed data set thanks to our work in Alteryx, the next thing that we want to do is we want to start to begin our data analysis. And in this case, we're going to begin our data analysis using data visualizations in Tableau. Before we can use Tableau, we first have to connect it to a file. In this case, we're going to connect it to a Microsoft Excel file because that's what we exported from Alteryx. So to connect to that Microsoft Excel file, we're going to go to the connect file, connect menu, and we're going to click on Microsoft Excel. We could then browse to find the folder where we located it, click on the file, and then click on open. When we do so, we see that just like Alteryx starts to try to type the data, Tableau does the same. And the nice part is because we made sure that we changed the data type in Alteryx, to double, meaning number, right? We see that it gets read in as numbers for the columns that should be read in as numbers in Tableau. The other nice thing about Tableau is that here we can see that the state abbreviation and the state are automatically picked up as identified for geolocators, meaning that Tableau is already connecting them to the longitude and latitude necessary to put them in as a heat map format. We see this because we have a globe as our data type up in the upper left hand corner. Since we verified that our data all read in correctly and that we have our geolocators, we can go ahead and start to work with this data to visualize it. To do so, we get a prompt directly from Tableau saying, okay, go to the worksheet. So if we click once on the sheet, we see that we have our dimensions, which is our Hawaii ID, our state ID, state and state abbreviation. And remember, we called these our fields that had our names, so it is appropriate that these were read in as our dimensions. We also see all of our measures that we're going to use to quantify the migration patterns that we see in the data. We're going to begin by creating a heat map and to do so we're first going to either pick state or state abbreviation. As you hover over it you'll notice that it has a blue what they call a pill form around the dimension or measure that you're hovering over. You can select the pill by clicking once and drag it to either the columns or the rows. In this case we're going to drag it to the columns. And then we get this really nice output where we basically have an ABC character of each of the state abbreviations. But that's not very visually appealing and we'd like to do a heat map. So to do so, what we're going to do is we're first going to click on show me. And then we see all of the options that we have available to us with the data that we've loaded in. In this case, we have two heat map options. We're going to select the second one. And then we can go ahead and click back on show me to rehide that menu. This is still not very exciting yet, but at least we have all of our geolocators in. And as you can see, my heat map does not have Hawaii. That is not by accident. Remember that this data set was looking at migration in and out of Hawaii. So the only state that should not appear is Hawaii. It's nice to see that all the states loaded in appropriately, but we would like some visualization around the net migration. So let's start with the five year average net migration and we could select either the net number of returns or the net number of exemptions. We'll go ahead and select net number of exemptions and we can again see that we have a pill. If we click on that once, we can drag it right over our heat map and it'll automatically load up the variation in the five-year averages by color. We can edit these colors by moving up to the color menu or legend that we see up here, clicking on the drop-down menu, and then selecting edit colors. Here, Tableau has a variety of color options available to us. Let's pick the red, blue, and white diverging. And you can either do a stepped color or you can use the full color range or you can keep it as it was. And then you can go ahead and click on apply and then hit OK and we see that the colors have changed. And what this essentially will do is, sorry I have to move my mouse, so to change your mouse so that you can move around your map, go ahead and hover over the right hand menu and click on the four way arrow sign. That'll now allow you to move around your map. If you need to get back off of that, you can use the same menu to do a magnification or zoom or select tool. 
But what this essentially did is it makes it very easy for us to see which states Hawaii is losing people to and which states we're gaining people from. So the gaining people from are highlighted in blue and the losing people to is the red colors that we see. And then these are generally red in as neutral where you're really not losing a lot of people to any one of these other states. Now this is a good visualization. We can go ahead and zoom in a little bit further but maybe we'd like some labels on this. So to put on labels about the state, we can go ahead and hover over the state. Again, we're getting a pill here. We can click once and drag that to label. And what we'll see now is that all of our states have labels, making it a little bit easier for us to interpret. In addition, if we're talking with policymakers, they might not just wanna know the states, they might wanna also see the numbers that are generating this. So we can go ahead and again, click on our five-year average net number of exemptions and drag that over to labels and now we see what the difference is in the net um, number of exemptions that we're losing to each of the states or gaining from each of the states. Finally, we might also like in the same chart to see the five-year average AGI since that's the dollar value gained or lost. So we can go ahead and hover over the five-year average AGI and click that to label as well. And so what we'll see is as the order that we've asked the labels to appear, they have appeared. So state came first, then the net number of exemptions and the net AGI. You also see that Tableau is rather interactive in that as I hover over each state, it gives you a little box showing you the data that you've asked for it to report.